picture of me in the paper a couple days ago. I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. I got all kinds of phone calls. Oh, really? Like, Yay! So, when you got the call, they want you to come back. What was your first thought? Were you ready to do it? Hesitant? Um, I was actually very hesitant to jump on board again um, because of what happened on All Stars. That was such a traumatic experience for me. And I mean, I walked off live television at the reunion show. I was like, done. That's it. I don't ever want anything to do with this again. And so, when I got the call to do Heroes vs. Villains, I really, I really had to think about it. I really did. But I knew. That me being me, if I if I didn't do it, I'd spend the rest of my life wondering what could have happened. And it was almost kind of like a personal challenge. Like I felt like I needed to prove that this game couldn't beat me. And I felt like it really did beat me when I did the All Stars. So I had a lot to prove to myself more than anything else. And so you're on the villains team, right? I am on the villains team. What's it like coming out out of the gate? You already have kind of that bad reputation. Are you, <laughs> is that hard? I mean, well, you know, it's kind of an even playing field when you think about it. You're, if you're on a team of villains, you're all starting off on the same slate, you know? So that actually made it more interesting. It's good, I mean, it's going to be a great season. Were you aware of everyone's reputations before you came on and like how they played? Did you research or? You know, none of us knew who exactly who was going to be on this season, oh. so I did what little research I could because I missed a few seasons here and there. But I, there were some people I just I knew nothing about, and I really enjoyed the fact that I was going to get to meet some new people who had a villainous personality and then decide for myself whether or not they were really villainous. I mean, did you think I'm gonna play an aggressive game? I'm gonna stick to what I'm good at, or did you did you want to change it up? You know, I went into this game with nothing but 100% warrior mode. I feel honestly like I have returned back to the original Jerry that played Australia, except I've got two games under my belt. I have more knowledge and wisdom on how the game works. So I'm back to my kick-ass self. With some knowledge. So, what are some of those kind of tidbits of knowledge that you took back with you? <laughs> well, I mean, I, I definitely learned in the, the first time I played that speaking your mind is not always a good thing. That sometimes you should just keep your mouth shut. Is that hard for you? Yeah, that's a really hard thing for me to do. Yeah. It's a challenge. I just, you know, I, I, everything in my life, I want it to be the best. And I'm very outspoken about how to make things better. I've, I've, def I've definitely learned a lot about myself over the years, and that's something I really worked on, having a lot, of, a lot more patience with people. That's great. Well, I'm looking forward to it.